Assalamu alaikum grade 8. How are you? Faiza Nadeem is standing here in front of you with your English lesson. But before we move on to the lesson, let me know that all of you are hale and hearty. Let me find it out that all of you are going to school regularly and are concerned regarding your academics. But you are in pre-9 and the result of grade 9 and 10 is of great significance, right? So let's start today's lesson without further ado. Let's move on to the boat. Ji, meri bohat pyari bitiya aur usse pyare bete. What is the board telling you? The board is telling you to take your Oxford Progressive Reader out specifically. And in general, we are going to do Unit 2. The title of this unit is Horses. And the comprehension that we have selected from this unit is The Wonderful Horse. And this comprehension is comprising of pages 35 to 37. Now, this specific comprehension is very important. You must know what is the name of Hatim Tai? This comprehension is Hatim Tai. And the comprehension is this way that the Sultan is in court and he was sick and tired of hearing murmurs and whispers of Hatim Tai's famed horse. Finally, he decided to ask his courtiers. Courtiers kaun hote hain? Jus ke court mein log bethe hote hain, wo sare courtiers hote hain. So he decided to talk to the courtiers and ask them about Hatim Tai's famous horse. When he asked them about his horse, they said, Oh, it is so beautiful. Its color is just like smoke. It is so swift. Swift ka matlab hai tez dorna. It is so swift that it can run like a morning breeze. Dusra kehte, no, it can leave the breeze behind. Tisra kehte, it neighs like thunder. Neighs kya hota hai? Ghore ki jo awaz hai, thik hai? Chotha kehte, it runs like volting, thik hai? Lightning, wo lightning, bitli ki tezi se chamakti. Hui, tezi se pohunchta hai. Now, Sultan was greatly impressed. Sultan said, Why do you have such a horse? Why do you have such a horse? He thinks that he has a solution. He says, okay, this is the same thing that is famous for his generosity, for his famous 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 whether the horse is as good as he is famed for. So, his vizier says, sir, it's okay. So, the sultan says, I'm going to send you to the same time. You, who are very understanding, go and ask him to ask him to ask him. Now, the vizier and the courtiers go on the road to his way. When they were on their way, there was a huge thunder and lightning and there was heavy rainfall. What happened? The entire area was flooded. Sab kichar madi ho gaya, flooded ho gaya. Badi mushkil se wo Hatim Tai ke ghar pahunche. When they went over Hatim Tai's place, when they reached his house, Hatim Tai greeted them with open hands. Thik hai? Uske baad unko pehle se prepared. Thik hai? Previously prepared rooms me leke jaya gaya. Jab wo nahad ho ke nikle, to there was a feast waiting for them. Feast kya hoti hai? Badi saari daavad. The meat was juicy and succulent. There were a number of desserts. Desserts kya hote hai? Meat hai. And they were served drinks in gold cups. Achha, jab yeh sab kha pi liya, unho ne enjoy kar liya, to vazir betha, Hatim Tai ne poochha, now tell me what you have come from. To vazir ne idhar udhar ki baate karke na pooori set karke base. Phir Hatim Tai se kaha ke I want to get your horse. To Hatim Tai rone lag gaya. Hatim Tai se poochha bhai, why are you crying? To he said, ki since there was flood everywhere, I could not reach my flocks. Mein apne janwaro ko reach nahi kar sakta tha. The only animal that I had was the same horse that was at my place. So I have sacrificed that horse and served you 
it's food i'm so sorry if you would have told me i would have done or arranged something else but since that was the only horse that i had that was the only food that i had to serve you i have used that one aur wo bechara wazir wahan se aise hi wapas gaya aur sultan ne jab ye suna to sultan ne khoob applaud kiya aur mana ki hatim tai ka ghoda bhi ala hai aur hatim tai khud bhi ala hai स्टोरी मैंने आपको बायलिंगुअल सुना दी है उर्दू में भी और इंग्लिश में भी पढ़ना जरूर राइट लेट्स मूव ऑन टू व्हाट आई हैव ब्रॉट एज फार एज दिस स्टोरी इज कंसर्न सबसे पहले तो ये वोकेबलरी और इसकी ट्रांसलेशन ये क्यों मेरे बोर्ड पे होती है बिट्टो ये इसलिए होती है कि आपको ये ध्यान रहे ये याद रहे कि आप प्री नाइन में हो और नाइन में आपका ट्रांसलेशन का क्वेश्चन आना है जो कि फोर मार्क्स का होता है तो उन फोर मार्क्स को लूज नहीं करना बहुत पक्के रहना है अभी से तैयारी करनी है हर पैराग्राफ की ट्रांसलेशन करने की कोशिश करनी है ठीक है फेमस मशहूर ऑडिट हुक्म दिया ओवर हेयरिंग बार बार सुनना द सुल्तान वॉज सिक एंड टायर्ड ऑफ ओवर हेयरिंग अबाउट द फेमस हॉर्स ऑफ हातिम ताई विस्पस सरगोशिया रूमर्स अफवाहें ठीक है रिनोड अब फेमस भी मशहूर है रिनोड भी मशहूर है फेमस होते हैं इंसान ठीक है रिनोड इंसान भी हो सकते हैं चीजें भी हो सकती हैं ठीक है और जानवर भी हो सकते हैं स्टीट एक अरबी नस्ल का खास घोड़ा होता है उसको स्टीट कहा जाता है चीफ टेन चीफ टेन कहते हैं अरबों के सरदार को खोटियर्स जो महल में मौजूद लोग होते हैं वो तमाम कोर्टियर्स होते हैं दरबारी ठीक है यहाँ पर वर्ड आएगा दरबारी ईगर बेचैन दीज वर्ड्स अ टीजर ऑफ द वोकेबलरी एंड ट्रांसलेशन फॉर योर नेक्स्ट ग्रेड लेट्स मूव ऑन टू रीडिंग फॉर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ठीक है रीडिंग फॉर अंडरस्टैंडिंग का पहला सवाल आपसे ये कह रहा है कि वॉट डिड सुल्तान कोर्टियर टेल हिम अबाउट हातिम ताइज फेमस हॉर्स अगर आपको याद हो तो मैंने अभी अभी बिगनिंग ऑफ द लेक्चर में आपको बताया था कि इट नेज लाइक थंडर ठीक है नेज लाइक थंडर स्मोकी इन कलर ठीक है रंस एज Lightning leaves the breeze behind as it runs. यानी उन्होंने उसकी बेतहाशा तारीफ की थी उस हॉर्स की Question number टू आपसे ये कह रहा है कि about which two things did the Sultan want to find out? the truth about like the sultan wanted to find out two things which he wanted to test were true regarding hatim tai wo kaun si do cheezein thi wo thi beta uski generosity aur uska famous horse answer kaise likhoge aap answer ye लिखोगे आप कि द सुल्तान वॉन्टेड टू फाइंड द ट्रूथ अबाउट द जेनिरोसिटी एंड द फेम्ड हॉर्स ऑफ हातिम ताई ठीक है आंसर आप क्वेश्चन से ही फ्रेज आउट करोगे और यू आप इसका आंसर लिखोगे मैं हेल्पिंग वर्ड्स और फ्रेजेस लिख रही हूँ क्योंकि मैं ये एक्सपेक्ट करती हूँ कि आप जब ग्रेड एट में आ गए हो तो आपको आंसर्स फ्रेज आउट सेंटेंस आउट करने आ गए होंगे लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट बोर्ड वॉट वॉज द सुल्तान प्लान विच वुड इनेबल हिम टू डू दिस ही वुड आस्क हातिम ताई टू गिव हिम हिज हॉर्स This was his plan. Why did the Sultan choose his vizier to carry out his plan? The Sultan chose his vizier because he knew that his vizier was tactful. He was wise 
intelligent and tactful he would ask hatim tai for his horse without creating any misunderstanding theek hai without turning his sultan into a villain right how did hatim tai show his generosity as a host hatim tai showed his generosity as a host because they had already gone into the prepared rooms their rooms were already prepared they were served with a feast which had succulent meat juicy meat tha uska or they were served drinks in gold cups and they had numerous desserts theek hai bahut sare meethe the unko enjoy karne ke liye why did hatim tai not give his visitors some other meat to eat hatim tai apne visitors ko kuch aur serve kyun nahi kar saka hatim tai could not give his visitors some other meat to eat because everywhere was flooded and he could not reach his फार्म एनिमल्स और आप ये कह सकते हो कि कैटल ठीक है सो दैट इज वाई ही हैड टू सर्व हिस फेम्ड हॉर्स वाई डिड सुल्तान फेल टू अक्वायर हिज फेमस हॉर्स बिकॉज ही हैड नहीं बिकॉज ही हैड से नहीं शुरू करो शुरू करो The Sultan failed to acquire his famous horse because यहाँ से because डालो ठीक है because he had sacrificed his horse to serve his guests. ठीक है दे वर देयर एज अ गेस्ट एंड ही हैड नथिंग टू सर्व हिज गेस्ट सो ही सेक्रीफाइज हिज फेम्ड हॉर्स टू सर्व देम टू गिव देम फूड टू प्रिपेयर अ फीस्ट फॉर देम दैट इज वाई द सुल्तान वॉज अन एबल टू गेट द हॉर्स राइट लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द वोकेबलरी एक्सरसाइज जी बेटा आपको ये वोकेबलरी में वर्ड्स दिए हुए हैं और आपसे कहा गया है कि इनसे रिलेटेड वर्ड्स आपने कॉम्प्रीहेंशन से पिक करने हैं यानी कि आपको मीनिंग्स दे दी हैं वर्ड्स आपने कॉम्प्रीहेंशन से पिक करके लिखने हैं सबसे पहला वर्ड था हॉर्स और उसके मायने हैं स्टीड इक्वल इज मैच मिनिस्टर इज वजीर नेम इज रेप्यूटेशन गेटिंग होल्ड ऑफ इज एक्वायरिंग शो अप्रिसिएशन ऑफ इज अपलॉड Diplomacy is fat, luxury is splendid, juicy is succulent, and famous is famed. Let's construct sentences of the words, not the meanings. The steed of Hatim Thai was famed for his beauty. Match. There is no match of his speed in the round. He is the fastest runner around. Vizier. the wazir was not happy with the sultan's decision reputation you must be very honest not to mark your reputation of being truthful acquiring acquiring better grades requires you to work seriously hard applaud the sultan applauded at the generosity of hatim tai fact it's a fact that those who waste their time remain unsuccessful in life splendid the room was splendidly decorated succulent the steak was properly cooked and succulent famed he is famed for his generosity 
and I have done acquiring. Yes, I have done acquiring, right? Let's move on to speaking and listening. Speaking and listening में आपके कुछ question हैं जिनके साथ आपको debate करनी है. मैं क्या करती हूँ? मैं आपको अपना view point दे देती हूँ. आप जब ये lectures सुनो, तो आप मिल के अपनी friends के साथ इसको discuss कर लो. ठीक है? Let me give you my viewpoint. You can even share your viewpoint in the comment section. ठीक है? मैं आपको उसका reply करूँगी. इन्शाल्लाह. ठीक है? Which qualities of character does the Sultan display? Will the Sultan displayed jealousy? ठीक है? एक तो Sultan was jealous because he wanted the horse, and then he was greedy. He could not actually accept somebody else having something greater than him. So not only he was jealous, but he was greedy as well. In what way did Hatim Tai win? Hatim Tai won because he had proved to be as generous as he was famed for. Right? In what way did Sultan win? Sultan won because now he had the best horse in the world. The horse that could only match his horse had already died, right? Are the Sultan and Hatim Tai to be admired? Well, in my personal opinion, we can admire Hatim Tai only because Sultan was a jealous and a greedy person and I don't think that I am going to ever admire somebody who is jealous and greedy, right? What is Saadi telling us about human nature? Well, this is a hikayat from Maulana Saadi, ठीक है? एक बहुत बड़े, बहुत बड़े सूफी थे, उनकी ये हिकायत है, और इस हिकायत में वो हमें क्या सिखा रहे हैं? वो हमें इंसान की नेचर के बारे में ये सिखा रहे हैं कि it is easy to be jealous, it is easy to compare, but then it is not easy to give away. Generosity is not very easy to have, right? Let's move on to the next exercise. ये exercise है word reputation के बारे में ठीक है reputation can be used in two ways ये वो दोनों तरीके बता रही है पहले आपने reputation के बाद being को follow कराने और adjective लगाने और दूसरे के बाद reputation के बाद for लगा के एक abstract noun लगाने ठीक है तो सबसे पहले आपका एक ऑप्शन है अ मॉडेस्ट वाइफ ठीक है शी हैज अ रेप्यूटेशन फॉर बीइंग अ मॉडेस्ट वाइफ अब अगर हम एब्स्ट्रैक्ट लगाम लगाएंगे तो हम उसके आगे वाइफ नहीं लगा सकते ठीक है क्योंकि हम एब्स्ट्रैक्ट नाम लगा रहे हैं तो हम ये कहेंगे कि हिज वाइफ हैज अ रेप्यूटेशन फॉर मॉडेस्टी ठीक है पहला हो गया दूसरा करके देखते हैं अ सेल्फिश ब्रदर ठीक है he has a poor reputation for being a selfish brother. ठीक है और नीचे abstract noun से कैसे बनाएंगे? Abstract noun से बनाएंगे इस तरह से that his brother has a reputation for being selfish. Selfish is an abstract noun. ठीक है और इसको और modify कर देंगे. His brother has a reputation for his selfishness. Right? Next is a greedy monster. He has the worst reputation for being a greedy monster. Okay? The monster was dereputed for being greedy. The monster was dereputed for his greed. A proud man. He has a famed reputation for being a proud man. Okay? Or next, the man has a great reputation for his pride. A trustworthy trader. Isko aap kyun likhenge? For being a trustworthy trader, the trader has a great reputation for being truthful. Ya, for being trustworthy. Okay? An honest boy for being an honest boy or for his honesty. A lively grandmother for being a lively grandmother and for her liveliness. A reliable business for being a reliable business and for his reliability. Okay? Successful school 
for being a successful school the school for his or its success theek hai ye maine reputation ke sath shuru ke do jumle bana diye aur do aapko baki sare tareeke bata diye zarur sentences construct karna let's quickly recapitulate today's lesson what did we do we did unit 2 in general from oxford progressive reader the name of the unit is horses and the specific comprehension that we had done in today's lecture is the wonderful horse which was all about hatim tai and maulana saadi's hikayat theek hai translation ki reading for understanding ki vocabulary ki sentence construct kiye speaking and listening activity ki aur reputation ke do tarah ke sentences construct kiye सब रिवाइज करना मुझे दुआओं में याद रखना हंसते खेलते रहना पाकिस्तान के लिए दुनिया के लिए इंसानों के लिए जरूर दुआ मांगना आपकी दुआएं फौरन कबूल होती हैं बिट्टो ठीक है जब तक दोबारा मिलते हैं तब तक के लिए साया ना